Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. How uh, the sales and the things that he talked about here, this was in uh, September of last year. Um, and he did his first deal in 81 days and he fell short because the other guy did it faster. And he's just, you know, and uh, he has, um, he's gone to all those banks. There's about 300 banks in Canada. Everybody talks about six banks. There's 300. There's 650 banks in the UK. There's 2,500 banks in the United States. 2,500. When I was doing this, there was only about 1,500, and I called on every motherfucking one of them. Every single one. And then when they used to say, you know, well, uh, why does Great Western Resources have all the money they need whenever they need it? 10,000 energy companies went bankrupt when we grew at 55,000%. 10,000 went out of business. Because I was, you know, call me anything, just give me the fucking money. And right now, and Nagy was in that seminar, Nagy spends, uh, as he said, looking for money, looking for deals. My mandate's clear. You're not there yet. But sooner than later, you're going to be looking for deals, looking for money. Your mandate's clear. As soon as you can get out of operation, it didn't take him six months to get out of the operation. It took him about four months. As soon as you can get to that, and you have to get to that, to make this work at its ultimum. Not as the E-Myth book, Mr. Gerber, my old buddy, uh, working not in the business, but on the business. As soon as you make that transition, and it does, just doesn't happen from Monday to Wednesday, it's, it's a transition. And, but once you get out of the day-to-day -day bullshit, you know, oh God, well, all this free time, and it's not free time because now you're looking for money and looking for deals. And it's a lot easier than dealing with human resource bullshit and this, this, that, and because y your mandate's clear. Questions or comments and or comments about, yes, sir, Thomas. Uh, yeah, quick question. I guess it, No, no, sorry, a slow sorry, question, sorry. remember? Yep, yep, yes, sir. Um, during that purchase when he was talking about buying or with the banks, and he used uh, the 20% seller's equity back to the 100% seller finance deals that were. Well, no, he, he hasn't. At that juncture, when he made this talk, he had not done 100% seller finance yet. Okay. He did 80% commercial bank debt that was covered by EBITDA cash flow okay. and 20% note. Um, which, uh, if he hadn't got the 20%, and we, we call it, remember, not seller's finance, we call it seller's equity. Because the first time the banker writes it down on a piece of paper, you want him to write down seller's equity. And forevermore, it's going to be fucking equity. Okay. Well, I guess my... In fact, so, uh, some of the senior bankers, they, don't, they won't even know what seller's equity is. Okay, so that So was... then you want your bank representative, your credit officer, explain it to him. And then the, the senior banker will look down, boy, they, he won't say, they, they fucking can't pull the wool over your eyes. I mean, uh, but it is equity. Federal banking rules mandate, or I should say don't mandate, who puts in the fucking equity? And or what is the definition of fucking equity? Albeit the fucking part, okay? Without the fuck, No place in the world Afghanistan, Pakistan, Belarus, Russia, South Africa, does it define what equity is? So we're going to use our definition. And it works easy peasy. And when they start giving you this bullshit, okay, would you, oh, I'd like, to, I used to carry the, the, the federal statute in my pocket. It got worn out. Fell, I don't read it that way. Is that how you read it? What are you, you know, Japanese, Chinese? I mean, it doesn't say that at all. Well, I'll have to get my supervisor in here. You better get that 
fucker in here then right quick. Because it doesn't. It's somebody's equity. Now, will the banking uh, regulations change? Uh, to, maybe, I don't give a shit, but they haven't changed in 50 years. So, they, the, you know, but the caveat is they can always change. But they, they haven't changed in, in my career, so it's not likely. Did I answer your question? So that's basically a different structure than that 100% finance. That would just be 80 and 80. No, we go, our ultimate goal. You're taking too much sweet and low, I'm telling you. The ultimate goal is 100% seller finance. That's where we start. Okay. But as long as the cash, free cash flow covers the debt service, we don't really give a shit. The real reason that we want seller finance is so we can do, we can do a handshake deal right today. Fuck those banks. And nobody likes banks anyway, so they'll say fuck those banks too. That's the real leverage, the real power, the hammer fucking close is we don't have to use those whores in commercial banking. Plus, we can get it done today, asshole. Today, right now. That's a powerful close. They can't wiggle around. But if you, now, you don't have to say it is forcefully, but you heard him. He, well, I don't consider that even a forceful, I mean, look at your faces of, Jesus Christ. That guy can, is a real salesman. What did I tell you? They, your parents didn't send you to school to be a salesman, did they? Well, if you don't sell, you might as well go home. And even Bill Gates, in his infinite wisdom, at age 65 years old, now says the most important thing uh, uh, running a company is being able to sell. Fuck. Yeah. Um, to issue the note... Do you need to be a creditor? Are there any regulations around that? To with you the lost sellers me. with um, because he's, you're technically buying it on credit from him, right? No, no, no. You're buying. You're buying. They, uh, everybody understand. Uh, no money down house buy house for no money down. It's been around since uh, the Civil War. This is no money down buying companies. It's no fucking different. Instead of the little shitbox house that you bought for $65,000, no money down, you're buying something for six and a half million, 650,000. It's exactly the same principle. And it's been around since the Civil fucking War. In fact, the black people after the Civil War that were allowed to own real estate, it was the first no money down butt fuck. Because how are they gonna have any money, right? How are they gonna get any fucking credit, right? Well, we, we, we're going to give them no money fucking down. And it's going to be government guaranteed. I believe it was the first government guaranteed loan in the history of America. So black people could buy fucking houses after the Civil War. And that is still in existence today. You're making it more difficult than it is. So our ultimate goal is... 100% owner finance, seller finance, excuse me. Uh, but I mean, he, the cash flow, I know he wouldn't have bought the goddamn thing if the cash flow didn't cover the 80% of debt service. But your boards will just, they'll get diarrhea. They have never heard about no money down. I guarantee you. So the real challenge is, you know, convince the board. And if you have to convince the board, you get, get rid of them. If, if you even have to go through the process. Because they've never not done a no money down deal. They've heard of no money down house flipping. And that's, and then you just segue right into that. And it's perfect. Because, it, and it happens to be the truth. The irony of this deal, and I, I, I you know, maybe I am going to go to heaven like the nuns say. Because this is a truthful motherfucking model. There's no bullshit in it. I'd like to put some bullshit in it just so I could buttfuck a few people, but I haven't in all these years. 
no money down is our ultimate. And then we fall away from that depending on, you know, whether we're going to close the sale or not. And when you're doing the SBA, these are for the guys in America. And the SBA, some banks will consider, um, or take, I should say, seller's finance as the equity portion, and some won't. But if you don't ask, you don't get. And when they know, when you know, and like the uh, example of the black gal I uh, talked about earlier, they, accept, they accepted it. Well, if I wasn't dressed like that, fuck, you know. But anyway, that's, um, I told you, you got to do what you got to do, sweetheart. So <laughs> she's doing what she got to do. But the, I'm going to have to get the rest of the story why the head of fucking SBA comes out. I mean, the, um, I can fantasize why, but, you know. So do we understand that? Okay, comments, questions about Thomas, other than he's a, a power seller, which he is. Um, yes, sir. Uh, I've noticed he, he's a lot like everything we've learned during a week is time is of the essence and one of the most valuable commodities. It's the only com time you can't get back. Now, I've made a lot of money and lost a lot of money. I've lost hundreds of millions in a day. I mean... But, you know, I would trade all that for another 10 years. Because, you know, you, you can't get back to time. Now, when you're 20 or 25 or 30 or 35, like you kids, you know, say, you know eh, what's the old man talking about? But for some of the older guys that are 45, 50, 55, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. And yet, you know, you, you know absolutely what I'm talking about. And right now, they're paving the streets. They just, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. When I see some of the monkeys, you know, that, uh, that I would uh, bet all my money they could never do it. Do it. That's when I feel the best. When I bet, I bet all my money this little prick couldn't do it. And then he does it. Fuck, that makes me feel good. God damn. This model's so fucking good, this fucking cretin, 40 IQ, with one eye, one leg. His nose got bit off, and he did it. You know the fucking model's good when that. Black, yellow, purple, doesn't make a shit. And the model works. There's no question about it. No question about it. No question about it. Now, it, intellectually, it's easier. Well, oh, fuck, that guy's a polished guy. That's why he's, you know, just like Josh Kim is Michelangelo. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But you can't call that guy from Belgium Michelangelo who's throwing up on himself. That's you. So don't wear your best shoes the first, because you're going to, you'll ruin them. And vomit doesn't come out of shoes. I can attest to that. They don't clean up right after that. No matter, matter, no matter how many times you fucking polish them. Okay, anything else about um, uh, Thomas? Yes, sir. Uh, he talked about taking himself out of the business and maybe hiring operational manager. Not are, maybe. I mean, oh, yeah. are we going to talk more about that? Yeah, later? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because originally when he came to me, he's got a great business, one of the fastest growing. That, that uh, IT, whatever, I don't know what the fuck he does anyway. And I said, you can make, and because his platform was going to be to expand on that, I said, make you your first acquisition. Your first acquisition is you. And sell to the employees. But as it turned out, it wasn't his first acquisition. It wasn't his first acquisition. But um, he... Um, but I mean, he, 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 he follows the scripts to a T. And English isn't his primary language, which he sounds pretty good, doesn't he? But French is. So that makes it 
you know, he's uh, But he, I mean, he's, I, I can't imagine how slick he is in French. Fuck. He must be slicker than baby shit, I mean. Anything else about, um, yes, sir, in the back. Yes, sir. Could you speak more about power ties and, like, dressing? Uh, well, I, I gave you that. Uh, you should all subscribe. It's free to that website. Uh, the um, white shirts are in. Everything else is out. I'll just put it make it simple. White shirts are in. Everything else, I mean, shirts-wise, is out. Um, the um, pinstripes are fine. Three-piece suits are fine. Um, the uh, and I know the kids now uh, don't wear cuffs, pants. That's you know uh, some of the new modern suits that uh, you know I can't get them over my thighs or my calves. So yeah, it is, so uh, uh, that's not me. Okay, uh, the uh, Tom Ford is not the model that I, I can wear. Uh, the um, dark suits, either dark gray, black, or blue. Um, uh, I know some of the kids, and even I do once in a while, I wear, you know, uh, uh, red socks or some shit like that. But basically, dark socks, dark shoes. Um, the, uh, and of course, I've more or less brought in the fashion and boutonnieres again. Um, and that's fine. Uh, the, uh, and the pocket scarves, uh, the white is uh, good, but some, uh, as, long as, as long as they match. Uh, the, um, and uh, the, so I know the modern thing is uh, you guys wear suits that are too tight. You know, I know that's the vogue now. You know, it's, uh, and as far as I can tell, nobody's got any muscles in this fucking room, but I mean, where, you know, the shirts, the, the president of Bank of America isn't going to be impressed by your suit because it's too tight. Looser is better, as Sally would say. And when you get older, you can get fat that way. But that's, I, I want to add that part on. I just gave away about 200 suits in the last couple of years. It took me two years to try and all the suits in all my closets. I gave about 200 suits away earlier this year. Because I haven't, if you haven't worn it, in five, but I can still get in them which I was proud of, but if you haven't worn a suit in 10 years, it's not likely you're going to wear it. And my suits have been the same style for 30, 40 years, uh, but I gave them away. The Oxfam, which is like a charity here. The president, uh, uh, the way the prime minister dresses, the way Trump dresses, the way the senators and members, now in Afghanistan they wear the robe, I don't mean that, but I mean suits. That's, you want to look like them. You want to look like them. Yes, sir. Well, what about the double-breasted? Double-breasted, yeah, double-breasted is fine. It's fine. The um, Bodo used to be a very classy dresser. I mean, he was the style uh, in the 90s. I'm sure he still dresses well. Um, but, I mean, you, you, want to, you want to look presidential. You want it to look presidential. Um, it's, you know, I, Thomas doesn't dress so special as far as I'm concerned. But when uh, I was on a Zoom call, I was a silent member of a Zoom call a few months ago. And with some pretty big hitters. And my guy, the U, was dressed in the uniform. And he's the only one that had a suit on. And for the first 10 or 15 minutes, everybody on the Zoom call was apologizing for being underdressed. One even said, I, 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 now how he could say this is a fucking idiot. I didn't even, I didn't know this was going to be a real business meeting. What? What kind of half-assed excuse is that? But when the kids go into the meetings, I mean, the 50% um, of the time, uh, you know, the, the other people are wearing, uh, especially on the weekends, tennis shorts, golf clothes, and you got them. All you need is a little edge, just a little edge. And you got them. Because subconsciously, they're on the defensive, or as they say in this country, they're on their back foot. All these things add up. 
Earrings are out. If you got tattoos, cover them up. Um, some of the kids, myself included, wear bow ties. Bow ties are all right. Bow ties look better, I think, on older guys than young guys. But, I mean, some guys wear bow ties. Gals know how to dress. I don't need to teach them. The gals just dress pro professionally. You know, I'm going to ask uh, Black Beauty, you know, uh, how she's dressing. The, but I, I, I'm going to wait till the deal closes. To not fuck it up. Um, And, um, but there, you know, there's plenty of um, uh, off the peg, as they say, clothes. I tried to buy books for others when a bank went, went bankrupt earlier this year. Because I was buying Brooks Brothers clothes. Since Abraham Lincoln they f fitted him up, I haven't been around that long, but I tried to buy Brooks Brothers. I wanted to buy the New York, the London, and the uh, Beverly Hills branch of Brooks Brothers. Some guy came in and you know, paid too much for all of them. Brooks Brothers is the best bang for your buck for men's clothes. It's the best and the least expensive. It's not cheap, cheap, but I mean, it's not like Walmarts. But I mean, I didn't even know they sold suits. I just found that out of in the last few months that Walmart sells clothes. I don't know. Um, any other questions about, uh, yes sir, in the back. Uh, what kind of colors for ties and bow ties? Well, well no, no. What kind of, uh, you can have, you know, like a red tie uh, is fine. Uh, um, not a tie. You know, we've had guys come in with ties, uh, uh, pigs fucking and shit like. I mean, that's out. And around the holidays, uh, the you know you can have you know Christmas type ties. Um, the um, and you can never be. You can always be underdressed, but you can never be too overdressed. Now, I'm not telling you to come in a tuxedo. I don't mean it that way. But I mean, nobody will chastise you or look down upon you if you come overdressed. And in this game, because most, a lot of you are kids and you have no experience, you want as many little check marks in your favor that they don't have. And one of them is going to be uh, how you dress in the uniform. And the reason why I make the uniform mandatory at the seminars, they're not mandatory at the hardcore. They, they, you can wear, uh, you know, more festive clothes at the hardcore seminar. Um, but it's because you, you want them to get their mind off of or on, well, fuck, this kid must be serious. And serious, you know, the, the, the kids that would, you know, with uh, tattoos and earrings don't come in trying to borrow, uh, get money from a commercial bank wearing a three-piece suit or a two-piece suit. They just don't. And there's a whole other theory, I mean, uh, 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 about that. But I've been around doing this a long time. And remember, dress British and think Yiddish. Dress British and think Yiddish. A pocket watch isn't necessary. I know I, I, I should get a franchise for all the fucking pocket watches the guys are wearing now. Uh, but I've, I've been dressing like this a long time. And the, uh, and the tailors uh, I use, one is a tailor for the royal family named John Kent in London. He's still there. If he's not dead now because of corona. And I got to use another one in Edinburgh named Peter Johnson. He's not old. Uh, he, he's a great tailor, but he's, you know, but uh, John is... Uh, Makes uh, clothes for the royal family and has for 40 years. Bespoke, as they say, bespoke clothes. Um, but how you look, you have two times to make a first impression, kids. Two. How you look, and then when you open your fucking mouth. And like Thomas said, I've always spoke well, and as far as the people that I've talked to, he has. But he was a, he was that Steve Jobs, black t-shirt, black jeans kid. And there's a whole generation and a half that's grown up thinking that that's, well, if you're Steve Jobs, you can get, fine. But you're not. And that's what I used to tell kids. Richard Branson used to wear jogging suits. Until he got knighted. And uh, the, the dress is, uh, and I like dark suits all year round, even though on uh, September, 
Well, on uh, May 31st or June 1, you, you can go to what summer, which is lighter colored clothes. I don't do that. I wear the same color clothes all the time. Um, and then on uh, Labor Day or uh, whether the two days, September, um, that weekend, whatever that weekend is, they, they, they change in, um, in clothes. Uh, I don't wear hat. Um, the, uh, although my head's getting balder, I, I might have to start my head starting to get cold. I never thought, I never thought my head would get cold, but <laughs> in the last 10 years, I can feel my head getting cold when I go out. And guys that have short hair like you guys, I mean, fuck. I mean, the, uh, uh, but how you look is really important. And shoes shined. I mean, I shouldn't have to say that, but there's a whole theory that your shoes should be all fucked up on, you know, the kids. Of course, the kids. I think the kids come up with these dudes because they're lazy. Now, I don't shine my own shoes. I don't set my own clothes out. All the stuff that he was lamenting about, Edward does for me. So, but for a lot of years, you know, I did it myself. I did it myself. Any other, anything else about um, Thomas? Okay. Now, we're back. We're back. Okay, um, which is the first one for Josh? Okay, we're going to list. Okay, thank you, YouTube. 